We've learned the basics of ad serving in our previous video. What's the next step? How about targeting people in their own language with personalized ads depending on their location? We prepared an interactive example, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. We'll show you how to set up variables in your ad, link them to a CSV file, generate endless variations and serve them based on the location of your audience. This is only one use case, but the sky is the limit when it comes to personalized advertising. You'll see what we mean in a couple of minutes. So let's jump right in. Here is our master design, which will be ground zero for our personalized campaign. Notice how we renamed our layers so they are easy to recognize. This will come in handy in the future. First, we need to ensure that the right ad creative is served to the right people using geolocation. This can be achieved with the help of a dynamic text variable. For our use case, we'll select city as the variable and set a generic text such as in your city if the location can be received. Keep in mind that even if we don't use any in this example, you can also create your own custom variables, so we have basically unlimited possibilities. Also, replace the showroom location from the text box with it. This way, our system will automatically detect the user's information and replace the text city with the appropriate city variable. The three default ones, city, country and region, are managed by our system, whereas the custom ones will be managed by the DSP. Note, each DSP has its own list of supported variables. Let's test out the code using an HTML viewer. We are using Code Beautify, but any will do. Now, we generate our ads with the city as a variable, so keep an eye on it to see how the city changes when using a VPN. Want to test it yourself? Scan this QR code and get a glimpse of how personalized ads work. This is nice, but we want to take it a bit further. Let's say we want to show different ads for every new showroom across the globe in the appropriate language. So what we'll do is to make a list using Google Sheets with all the cities in different countries where we have showrooms, and we'll add the translated copy and CTA. We'll also change the showroom image for some extra spice. As soon as the spreadsheet is ready, just publish the document on the web, get the share link, head back to your master design and open up the feed section. You can link your CSV feed using two methods, uploading it as a file or adding it as a URL. We go for the simple way, the URL upload. All right, now that it's added, select city as the target ID, which is the column from the feed. Based on what column you choose as a target ID and the information from DSP or Creatopy for current viewers, the ad will render the content from a specific feed row. Match all the content from your spreadsheet with the corresponding element on your design. And make sure to check the variations before deployment. Now, with live updates, we can push the edits we just made with a press of a button. Nice, all looking good. The ad creative will automatically change the content to match the location and language. Preview and see how your ads change based on a viewer's location. Kinda cool, right? You now have the dynamic ads set up. What else can you do to further optimize your ads? That's where the next video will come in handy. More exactly, the A-B testing feature. Doubt your gut feels and test, test, test. Interested? Just keep watching the next video.